Hi, everybody. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Julie Franks Murray. Um, Keith and I, my husband Keith and I, have a YouTube channel called Paradigm Media. And for the most part, I usually just do videos with him. But today, something kind of, I feel like the Lord impressed something on me today that I just want to share. And I'm doing this on the fly. Um, dogs are here, so bear with me if they get froggy, because sometimes they do. The phrase, the scripture um, about the kingdom of heaven, that it's an ever-increasing kingdom, has just kind of been reverberating through my psyche and through my soul for the last little bit. And it's almost like I'm having to really do battle around this notion. It's not a notion. It's the scripture. It says that his kingdom is an ever-increasing kingdom. But yet, to us, it's a concept. It's a notion. I'll speak for myself. Because you look out and you look at society and all you can see are right now are bad things happening, if you're even paying attention at all. You're just seeing the bad things happen. You're seeing what the enemy can do. You're seeing the many tentacled arms of that particular kraken and sea monster going everywhere in all strata of society and all governments of the world from big to little and that's what we're seeing it's a reality but the spirit has been quietly but insistently bringing that scripture back to me and back to me and back to me and it's like there's a it's a twofold reason i think for him bringing it to me is number one this is a reality that you have to absolutely drill down on and make as one of your foundation stones that you stand on, Julie. You're going to have to do this. You're going to have to fight this battle for it. You're going to have to fight the battle that what the Word says about the kingdom of God being made manifest is really the truth. It's the truth on a spiritual level. It's the truth on the level that matters. It's the truth on a level <clears throat> that no matter what the world shows and no matter what happens in the world, it is the absolute truth. The kingdom of God and of his government, the government of Yeshua, is an ever-increasing kingdom. So obviously there's a reality running underneath the surface of, if you want to say it that way, over, above everything, underneath everything, through everything that we're not seeing. And the only way you see it is that you have spiritual eyes to see it. That you have the illumination of the Holy Spirit, the prompting of the Holy Spirit, causing you to see it and absolutely stand in that place that says, I don't care what I see. And I'm not negating the obvious that these things are, I'm not going to say that they're not, these negative things aren't happening in the world. They are happening. But just as Peter was in the boat with all the other disciples on the Sea of Galilee and the storm hit, those were realities too. They were absolute realities. The wind, the waves, tossing them to and fro, and Yeshua appears to them walking on the water. And, <clears throat> you know, Peter is kind of maligned by people for his lack of faith, but... What did it take to get out of the boat? I, I, can't, I can't even comprehend that. I can't even wrap my mind around that. But it's just like that. The reality with Yeshua standing on the waves was more real, was the literal, absolute, enduring reality that trumped, that took precedence over the wind and the waves, which were also a reality. So it's not... When you accept this truth about his ever-increasing kingdom, it's not that you are um, shutting your eyes to what's going on around you and burying your head in the sand. We're meant to be active participants, um, soldiers in the army, intercessors, in whatever way he's called us, even just speaking what we feel and believe to be true on social media or in the marketplace, whatever. It doesn't have to be a grand high. Not every one of us is going to be a president or whatever with a, a big following or a big platform. Nevertheless, the Spirit of God works through our lives just like he did with the believers in the first century. There was no social media. There was no brand. There was no platform. There, and the Spirit shook the foundations of the known world at that time to be planted to set its root, roots down in the earth in such a way that it would never, never be uprooted or conquered. 
And I think right now in this tumultuous time of trying to keep one foot on the ground of what's really happening in our world and in our lives and the other foot in the realm of the spirit, and we have to have help sometimes to know how to do that. But it's it's a it's a place between it's a ten, it's a place of tension that we're going to have to figure out how to walk in, because we can't pull away from either realm. We have to know what's going on in our world, but we can't ever lose sight of the fact that His ki kingdom is an ever increasing kingdom. It's a fruitful bow. I don't know how to say the word. Uh, Joseph's I believe it was Joseph's prophecy and at the end of Genesis and what would befall. Those the tribes that in the last days, and he's a fruitful uh, branches and a fruitful plant going over a wall. It, it's the image there is just increasing and increasing and increasing. And obviously, I don't have the touch with plants that a lot of people do, but his branches are strengthened and helped along by the Most High God. I'm not sure I had a an alarm go off on my phone while I was talking, so I'm going to try to edit it out, but it, there may be a blip here in the video. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that the message that I feel like that the Holy Spirit is putting on my heart, I just want to share with others and give them hope that we have to walk by faith and not by sight. It doesn't mean that we deny our sight what's actually happening in the world. But we have to cultivate the sight of what he is doing and what is happening in the spirit. And not everyone has the same capabilities of seeing or sensing as, uh, you know, they're different gifts and callings. But if we simply go by what the word says, then we'll have a sure foundation under our feet. And I don't want in this time of tumultuous strangeness in our country and in our world what I don't want to have happen for believers is that their foundation gets pulled out from under them by what they see happening around them and what they see happening on the news. God is faithful. His Messiah is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He is at the right hand of the Father making intercession for us and for all those who are His, for all of those who will come up under the shelter of the Kingdom of Heaven. So I just wanted to encourage everyone with that and to also exhort you to reach for the reality of it. We're going to have to fight for this. I'm talking to myself too. We're going to have to fight for what we know to be true and real that is said in the Word, that is established by the Spirit, because the enemy is pulling out all the stops right now. All the stops, especially and particularly against people who are actively spiritually doing spiritual warfare and coming against him and speaking up and pushing back against this darkness. He's pulling out all the stops, throwing everything plus the kitchen sink at it. Trust me, he is. Because he can't allow the prayer and the belief and the solidarity with what God has said and with what the Spirit is doing, he can't allow that in his mind, his agenda, to continue getting stronger. So he's going to be attacking us wherever our weakest points are. He's going to be exposing things in us, and the Lord will allow it to happen because it does expose weak areas in us. Until you're tested and you go through trials, you don't really know what you're made of. You don't really know the state of the kingdom in you, and the kingdom is strong, but we also have to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. He's done what we can't do, but then we have to take what he has done, the tools he's given us, and go into our own lives, our own mind, and our own heart, and our own daily walk to actually ask ourselves, what are we going to believe and what are we going to follow when it looks like every single thing is falling apart and we can't see that maybe prayers are being answered or things are happening and the enemy lies to us. We have to make a decision, just make a decision my loyalty and my allegiance and my the foundation of my belief is going to be in the Word of God. And that can be a tall order, but one of the things that I think helps us along that path is, you know, we need strength. What does the Bible say is a source of strength for us? Joy. 
put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Renew our mind daily. Pray for others. And just get really, really clear with ourselves about where we're going to stand and what we're going to believe in and where we're going to put our trust. So that was all I had. I hope you're all doing... I can see my dog in the background. Um, hope you're all doing well. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.